you're going to need three pillars and not just two. And you put the bridge up with only two instead of three, the bridge is going to collapse. There is a nature of things. Things have a certain nature. And the manuals in engineering and chemistry and physics teach that nature. They teach reality. The modern mind thinks that there's a complete difference between material reality, which is serious, practical, chemistry, physics, engineering, computers, technology, that's reality. And then there's just spirituality, which is silliness and softness and sweetness and niceness. But it's got nothing to do with reality. Catholics care about building a solid bridge according to reality to get to heaven. Heaven is a reality. This life is a reality. The fact that I'm going to die is a reality. The judgment seat of God is a reality. The rules and laws by which I am either going to pass or fail when I come in front of the judgment seat of God are a reality which I can't change. They're fixed by God. All I need to know is to know this reality in order to save myself. The modern world's plunge into error. It's, it's catastrophic fall away from God. The gravest questions are always, always questions of doctrine. Just like for engineers, the gravest questions are not, is he got a nice tie, has he got a sweet wife? You can have an SOB of an engineer. But if he knows his business, that's the one you employ. The rotten morals of the Gentiles come from their idolatry. Let him obey the first. Let him get back to mass. Let him get back to confession. The modern mind thinks, oh, ideas don't matter. It's only what practical that matters. And you've seen the same thing with Cardinal Castrillon. Look, dear Sir Master, let's not worry about doctrine. Let's just get together and be friends. So you have your feeling, I have my feeling, you have your God and I don't have one. And that's perfectly okay. I'm okay, you're okay, you're nice, I'm nice, we're all nice. Don't let's get into an argument, don't, don't let's get hung up. Strawberry fields forever. No, says Pius X, God can be certainly known by reason alone. Eminence, we've got two religions here. You, you, your, your peanuts are very tasty and your walnuts and your cashew nuts and your drink is very drinkable but we've got two religions which are fighting it out to the death and of course that's the truth of the matter it's doctrine and we've got to get down to the questions of doctrine if I want to get to heaven I've got to be filled with the truth I need the truth I'm not going to get to heaven without the truth the rest doesn't matter You know, two and two are four. Well, yes, yes, of course they are. But they're also five. It's more creative. It's more broad-minded. It's more progressive. It's more interesting. It's more free to say that not only are two and two are four, but also they're five. And they're 15. And they're five million. Do you see the creative extension and possibilities? of refusing to be imprisoned by the narrow-mindedness of two and two of four. I mean, really, that's how these minds work. With a huge number of people today, it's a waste of breath to try and discuss. Because their minds just aren't rolling on wheels that they ought to be rolling on. Their minds are off the hinge. How can you make somebody think when his mind is unhinged? You can't. What can you do? You can pray for him, you can love him. That's about it. The position is fast being reached today where the only thing that will still save any significant number of souls is a chastisement. The timing, I don't know, you don't know, none of us knows, but surely that's what it's coming to. The flood of sin, the tidal wave of sin with the computers, with the internet, you know, this morass of sin, it, it, that's the only way to stop it, the only way to bring it to an end. It's gone too far. For the modernist, the faith comes from inside me. I feel that God exists. I want God to exist. I need a man God. I feel a man God. He's so, he's so, oh, I can't express it. But. He's God, so you see.
with the grace of God, we'll have the grace, we'll stand by the truth, cost what it may, and if they brutally murder us, hey, that's the, the fastest elevator to heaven.